Hello, everyone. Do you remember last week uh, we worked on a Moss Rover game? Um, I think we need to make it, we need to finish it this week. That's why I'm recording this video to you. I'm going to show you the basic movements and the, the basic rules of the game, and then you will adapt it to your own project. So I have chosen um, a, a bug for it. You can see it here. And now I'm going to code it so that it can move around when I use the arrow keys. So let's get started. We're going to always start with an event. You know that. So we're going to start with when flag clicked. And then, as you might remember, we need to use the forever block because we all we need it all the time. When a user press something, we want the movement to go, right? The, we want the movement to happen. So that's why we're going to use forever, not just once. So then we're going to take um, an if block and we're going to ask if any key is pressed. So this is the detecting system. We're going to ask if I'm going to use the arrow keys, but you can use the WASD keys. Um, so I'm going to start with right arrow and then I'm going to I'm going to tell the bug to move like three steps because I want it to go slowly. So I want to I want to uh, make it move three steps and then I'm going to go to the control again and take another if. Actually, you know what? Let's take four ifs because we have four buttons to use and four ways to go. And then I'm going to go to sensing. This time I'm going to make it go left. Let me take the left. Okay. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. You can either use the as you can see here let me move myself around here okay um you can either use the change x and change y by blocks and make it move that way or this is something that i got from a student um Jawarhan did it Jawarhan did it that way and i think it's really really good so instead of putting move three steps in right arrow he put um move three steps on up arrow so when you're playing this game, you should hold the up arrow always so that you're making it, you're making it go. Um, so, and then he also put another move block, but this time he said go backwards. So when you press the down but down arrow button, you go backwards all the time. And for the right and left left arrow keys, turn right for 15 degrees when the right arrow pressed and turn left for 15 degrees when the left arrow pressed. So when I play this game, you'll see how amazing it looks. Let me play it for you. See? So you basically hold on to the up arrow key to, to keep moving, and then you turn your ways um, with the left and right arrow keys. And if you want to go back, you can simply use the down arrow key. That's really cool. I love the way it looks. You can see it and it works perfectly. So this is about the, the movements. And let me add a simple backdrop here. Oh, you know that you're in your projects, you're gonna use the upload backdrop and you're gonna use upload sprite, right? And in this one, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just pick one. Now it's time to add the stuff so that we can collect them. All right. So let's add some. I don't know, like crumbles. I wish I could find crumbles in here. But it doesn't really matter as this is just, this is just, uh, oh, bread. Yes, I see the bread. Okay, so I have one bread over here. And, and then I'm going to duplicate this. If you can't duplicate, you can add more breads again and again. And now you can place your breads around like this. Then. Now I'm going to write the code so my beetle, this little button here, can go and collect those and get some points. So to do that, we first need a scoreboard. And to add a scoreboard on the left side, you'll see variables. And we, yours, you already should know about it because we already worked with the variables. But again, I'm just um, doing this to show you. So I'm going to click on make a variable. Then I'm going to um, name it as score. So this is the scoreboard. And here are my breads. If the biddle touches the bread, 
the bread um, will disappear. So should I do it inside the middle or in the bread? I'm gonna go with the bread. So we're gonna code the bread saying that when the flag clicked, um, we're gonna control and after we, we before we control, we need to put forever all the time. Don't forget about that. And we're gonna ask if, then we're gonna go to the sensing. If touching, do you see this? It says mouse pointer um, for now, but we're gonna change it to biddle. If touching biddle looks from looks, we're gonna select and hide block. Here we go. So the bread disappears. And then we're gonna add a point, remember? So we're gonna go to the variables and then we're just gonna say change not my variable you need to change it change score by one all right let's see if it works oh it wasn't this bread sorry i need to copy this code in for each bread so let me do that now you can do this one also let me first stop the code you can do this watch me real close so you can put this onto the one that you want to add here we go all right, now let's try it out. <laughs> Worked, all right? And when the all breads are gone, I can give a message that the mission is completed. So how am I going to do that? I can add a backdrop or I can um, let my beetle say it. I guess I'm going to let my beetle say it. But if you want to, you can add a different backdrop. Remember that from the last projects? We, we made a win backdrop. You can do that too and switch your backdrop. Uh, but I'm gonna make it, make the biddle say it. So I'm gonna say from the controls, again, we need to make a decision. We need to ask if, um, I'm gonna go to the variables and I'm gonna take in the score. I'm gonna put it over here. Then I'm gonna go to the operators because I need numbers. Now I'm going to use if the score, you put it here inside, equals to zero, not zero, sorry, you have three breads, equals to three, you put it inside the if. Now we made a sentence in here, you see, if the score equals the three, then say something. I'm going to go to the looks and then I'm going to say, um, here. Mission completed for two seconds. And then I'm going to go to the control and I'm going to stop all because my game is over and you, I, and you have won. All right, so let's check it out. Ooh, what happened? I don't see any breads around here and I don't see my score is resetted. So first of all, I need to go back to the variables and set my um, score variable to zero every time when I hit the green flag. That means the reset the game. And in the breads, I need to add a show block in the beginning when the flag is clicked. Here we go. I'm going to do this for each bread. All right. So that's it. I hope you are going to be finished by this week. Thank you, you guys, for watching, and I wish you luck. Bye. Don't forget to share your games with me after you're done. You're just going to click the share button here. Bye.